So I'm not the first to complain about JavaScript error handling. TJ Holloway Chuck famously wrote this farewell to Node.js citing uh, error handling in JavaScript. And I agree with him and I'm working on a Node.js project now and I find it weird how people get by, honestly. Like, let, let me try and demonstrate. For example, here's a JSON thing I'm sending to a web server and it, let's just say the server adds 10 years to this to this age thing. So a naive implementation in, in JavaScript would be something like this. It, it gets the age out of the body, adds 10 to it and returns it. Now, it all goes to hell when like the structure changes. For example, if I run this, um, let's just run it quickly. Let's start a new terminal. So I'm running the server on the right here. Or oh, let's just do a make. So if I run um, like uh, a test where the, the structure sort of changes, for example, instead of I'm passing a human age, I just do it to age. It just, it goes, it goes to hell, right? Terrible. Well, meanwhile, Go is, is, is better, even though like com pe people complain about it, right? Like, for example, people complain about the explicit like error value that you get back from each time you call it. I, I, I think it's just fantastic because I know that I can, ha I know how to, in each step, to how to handle the error, where the error is, right? It's fantastic because on the other hand, with Node, okay, that's messed up. How do you solve that problem? You, you do a try catch. But I find when I'm looking at um, code bases that I didn't particularly work on, I'm having to inherit and maintain, how do you know? How do you know that the, the, the code is, has actually got like a try and catch coverage to it? I don't think you can tell, can you? I think uh, the answers on the internet seem to say you just got to make sure you have great test coverage. But it's really awkward when I can't really tell that there's a try and catch across things and it annoys me to hell. And I'm really just longing for the, the simpler error handling that Go offers. So if anyone knows better than I do, please comment below. Otherwise, guys, this this all just moved to Go because the error handling is just so much better than JavaScript. Please, agree with me or disagree with me. Just just let me know how to find out how these try catches work, okay? Because it's driving me, driving me crazy.